lectureship, more so than any Church of Christ gathering. It's good where men and women can come together and be rejuvenated and re-energized and where faith can be strengthened yes, sir. and where preachers and church leaders can come and learn more and grow and share. Yes, and I'm just thankful to God for him enabling me to be here. Mm -hmm. We have a contingent from the Turner Road Church of Christ where I preach in the house. We have uh, several of our elders, deacons, members, assistant ministers, and of course, my wife is with me. She's on and ready to go. Oh, Taken from uh, Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number 15 in particular. Uh, this subject speaks volumes about the necessity of preparedness for the child of God. Right. The Apostle Paul uses this illustration of the Roman soldier <laughs> who is dressed and prepared for battle to emphasize the need for readiness against spiritual conflict. The image of this soldier is one of readiness, one who is suited up and ready, dressed from head to toe in spiritual armor, and ready to confront the enemies of the cross. Right. In this case, the enemy is God's adversary, and the dark forces within the spiritual realm whose purpose it is to overthrow the plans of God and to short-circuit the work of the Church of Christ. This verse and this subject are reflective of one who is on a mission and has taken the time and energy to secure the proper footwear. His feet are sharp. He is wearing spiritual footgear. His feet are covered with the preparation of the gospel of peace. He is ready uh, to take the good news of peace to a dying world. He's ready to let them know that there is but one Lord and one faith and one baptism. He's ready to talk about salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Ready to tell the lost about the cleansing blood of the Lamb of God who taketh away the sins of the world. He's ready to serve the cause of Christ. His feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Right. He's ready to talk about a new and living way. He's ready to throw out the lifeline to the sinking masters who are drowning in sin and degradation. Right. He's ready to sacrifice at all costs for the cross, the cause of Christ. He's ready to go. His mind is set on the things of the Savior. And this soldier has put God first and he knows that his will must be done. And so we in the Church of Christ, we need more strike soldiers. We need men and women who are ready, strong and tough, and ready around the clock. People of God need to be strike soldiers, always ready, always in a state of preparedness, prepared mentally for the conflict of good against evil, prepared physically, for the rigors of the challenges of the body, prepared emotionally for the ups and downs of the cause of Christ, prepared spiritually for the fiery darts of Satan and the cunning craftiness of the devil, prepared in every way possible, ready, willing, and able to take the fight of God into the camp of the great dragon and engage him in battle for the souls of men. We need to be ready. This soldier is empowered by the word of God, has been baptized, justified, and sanctified by the blood of Jesus, and he has a sense of urgency that the gospel of Christ must be preached, and he is ready for this cause. He has made himself available to carry out the commission of the risen Savior. You know we have too much mess in the church and we need to have folk ready and while we are in the church inside raising hell folk outside are catching hell and dying and going to hell while we fuss and fight about group singing and hand clapping men are dying without the knowledge of god families are falling apart and disintegrating same-sex marriages are being legitimized. Young men are making the jailhouse 
their permanent home. Women are turned to other women for things that men ought to be supplying. But nearer diseases are on the rise, and so is darkness and despair. We need somebody who is ready. We need to be ready to tell the world about the risen Savior Jesus Christ, who can straighten out any problem, who can make that street which is crooked. The Bible says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise but the Lord is not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance we need to be ready to tell the gospel story we need the community of the saved to be ready to go having their feet shod with the gospel ration, with the preparation of the gospel of Christ right. I heard Paul say in the long ago if it be possible yeah. as yeah. much as life in us that we all live peaceably with all men. We need to take the gospel of peace because we know that it is possible that we can live peaceably with all men. This peace is in the word of God and this peace is in his will and it is in his will that all men and women and boys and girls all over the earth can be saved and must be saved. For God came and through his son, he said that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have life everlasting.